my personal belief is that Montessori education can work for all children when it is adapted with intent for how to best serve this child. Uh, not every school can make every adaptation, not every school can serve every child, uh, but we can't say that, it's, that the child doesn't fit Montessori. It's that our school isn't able to make the adaptations to meet this child's needs. Um, and that's a, a very real concern. The teachers will follow the lead of the administrator, and administrators will hire teachers who can understand children with special needs if it is a place where they feel more comfortable themselves. We have to prepare ourselves to be open to all children, meet them at their level, see what do they really need, and how can we, as a school community, make the adaptations necessary. And I really feel like the mixed age setting of Montessori education is an ideal place for a child who learns differently to be incorporated because you don't have a competitive environment. You, competition is, is not something that we create as a part of a Montessori classroom. And you can see it when uh, one child learns how to tie their shoes. They don't turn around and say, ha, 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 I can tie my shoes and you can't. They really come at it from the vantage of, I have this responsibility now. I can tie my shoes, let me help you. And that's a very different message uh, to create a school community around. This idea that capacity leads to responsibility rather than a competitive edge. And that's where special needs fit so nicely here because you can have a child who might be older than another one but still can't tie their shoes. There's no one saying that another child can't help them because it's just what is your capacity. If I can do something and you can't, I'm obligated. My awareness leads me naturally, humanly, to feel responsibility for supporting you. And so helping children to feel awareness, helping adults to, to ease the burden of the responsibility, too, uh, of having a child who might need extra support in their classroom. Sometimes it means paying special attention to it, having additional observations done in that classroom, having maybe a specialist being called in to observe and give some guidance. Sometimes that can be done in collaboration. If you're in a private setting, it can be done in collaboration with the public schools. Sometimes it, it demands hiring a private specialist, either through the families or through the school itself. But giving the extra insight from outside eyes, always creating the Montessori lens to see it through. The other thing I always remind teachers and administrators about is that the younger the child, the more important it is that we are proactive. Being able to get interventions put into place early on in a child's life, um, whether it's in the birth to three age range, that early intervention age range is so important for children with more significant issues, three to six, and then we start catching a lot more of the literacy-based, language-based issues when they get into lower elementary. But Montessori can be a great fit for children who learn differently. We have to be the ones to adapt to meet their needs.